Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a beauty haul. I have done a ton of damage shopping for beauty products lately. This stuff is super collective. It's like all kind of just from this month. I was waiting for a few things to come in the mail, so I couldn't film this when I wanted to, and then in the meantime, I bought more things. It's not like an insane amount. Most of it was kind of like necessity type stuff, and so instead of showing you each like store, it's mostly like drugstore type stuff, but I kind of separated it into categories just so it would be a little bit easier to show you guys, and I will obviously tell you where I got it from if it was something different than like just the drugstore. So yeah, I have quite a few things, so let's just jump right in and I will show you what I picked up recently. The first kind of category that I have are lip products, and the first thing that I have to show you is by Revlon. It is just one of their um, Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks, and this is a cream, and it is in the color Primrose. And I believe, I think it was my friend Darcy who posted like a picture of this and it was in one of her hauls that she got this. And I saw it and I was immediately like, I need that color. It's just kind of a neutral pink with, I don't know, kind of like a cool tone. I don't know how to explain it, but it is gorgeous and it was really hard to find. I checked like CVS and Walgreens and they didn't have it, but my Target actually had it. So I got it from Target. So I'm really glad that I ended up finding this and I'm really glad that she like posted a picture because I've never really looked at the Revlon like regular lipsticks. I've always looked at like the lip butters and stuff like that. The next lipstick I got is from the new Flower line by Drew Barrymore I think makes this. At first I had like a ton of the stuff in my hands and I was like I need all of this. Anyways the lipstick I got this is one of the luxury lip colors in Camellia Charm and I love the like rose gold on these. I just like chipped my nail. Anyways, I love the color of this. It's like a really pretty pink color. I don't know how to explain this either. I'm really bad at explaining colors today, and you actually get quite a lot of lipstick in here. And I haven't even tried this on yet because I literally just bought this today. But it's just a really pretty pink color. So I think it'll be great for the spring, just like that Primrose lipstick that I got. They're going to be really great spring lip colors. Okay, the next category I kind of have is eye stuff, like the same thing, but... They are the Maybelline New York Eyeshadow, um, like the little quad things. And I think these were the limited edition ones from the fall. I don't know. And I got these at like a discount store called Big Lots. I don't know if everywhere has that. But me and my mom went there the other day because that's like the only store around me that has any like really good like organic type food because they sponsor like littler brands and they let them like sell their stuff there. And we don't have, like, a Whole Foods or anything like that. So that's the only place that we can really go to. But they always have, like, the old makeup, like, limited edition collections that didn't sell. So each one of these is only $1.50. So I decided to pick them up. This one with, like, the mint color in it is called Spirited Seas. And this other one is in Sunset Seduction. And I used this for my Valentine's Day makeup. But I didn't do, like, a tutorial. I just, like, said that I used it. So. Okay, and then for face products, I have a face powder. And if you guys have been watching me, then you would have heard me talk about this quite a few times. It is the L'Oreal Translucide Naturally Luminous Powder with Vitamin C. It's just a translucent setting powder that I use every single day. And it's a repurchase for me. I ran out of my other one, and I was like, oh, whatever, it's fine. But I was, like, using different powders. I was using the All May one for a while, and I love that one. But the only thing is, it's more of a powder foundation, so um, it has a lot of coverage. And sometimes I don't want so much coverage. And... It's not good for under the eyes and stuff, and I use this to set my under eye makeup, and it just doesn't crease, and it doesn't get greasy, and it just looks really light and natural. It's super finely milled, and basically, I was really, really missing this powder. It's kind of pricey. I think it's like $13 to $15, but it was totally worth it to me to buy another one. I, like, had to have it. I don't think I even had coupons for this. I just, like, flat out bought it because I was, like couldn't deal with not having it anymore so this is like one of my all-time favorite face powders now the next kind of like face thing I guess is a blush and this is from two cosmetics I ordered this online and it is in the color chick I really liked the color of this blush so I was like well I'll just use her coat and get it and basically it's just kind of like a lighter pinky color it's a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be but it still looks really pretty on as you guys know I've been searching for a dupe for that L'Oreal blush that I'm like in love with that was limited edition and this one's not quite it, but I still think it's really pretty, and I'm still really glad that I got it. Okay, and then moving on to nails. I actually don't have any actual nail polish to show you guys. I did get a new base coat. I went to the Sally Beauty Supply store, 
and I got the Orly Bonder Rubberized Base Coat because whenever I get my nails done at my nail salon, the woman or the man always uses this one and it makes my nail polish last so much longer and it just makes it apply really smooth. I find with a lot of base coats, my nail polish chips off even easier. Like it looks better for like five minutes, but it chips off like so much faster and this is one of the few base coats that I've tried that actually keeps my nail polish on and looking nice. They had like a promotion where you got a free Orly Argan Cuticle Oil little sample guy and I was really excited for this because I mean I don't really have a cuticle oil. I have like a cuticle dissolver thing but I don't have a cuticle oil and this has argan oil in it which is really cool so I haven't actually got a chance to use this yet, but I'm really excited to have it. Okay, and then I've been kind of more into skincare stuff lately because I got that toner from Boots a while ago, and it's just kind of inspired me to, like, change up my, like, skincare routine, I guess, because I can never, ever stick to one. I'm always, like, I don't, not even switching it up. I just, like, don't have one. I just get my makeup off sometimes. And then I go to bed. But lately, I've been really into skincare, and I've noticed that my skin has been kind of dull looking. Since I've been paying more attention to it, I'm just kind of like, nah, I don't like it. So I wanted to try some new masks. You guys know I love the cucumber one, but I wanted to try more of them. I've been looking for kind of like a clay mask, and you guys would be surprised. Like, the drugstore brands don't really have masks. Like, there's a few brands that do, but they're more of like the high-end drugstore brands, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And some of them are pretty expensive, and I didn't really want to spend like $15, $20 on a mask that I wasn't going to use a ton, and I didn't know if it would really work. So I decided to go with the trusty old Freeman brand that the Cucumber one is in. And they have quite a few of these, and they kind of all say that they do generally the same thing. And I've heard the best about this one. I kind of wanted one of the fruit ones, but whatever. So this is the clay mask with avocado and oatmeal and it says it just kind of purges your pores and just really deep cleans your skin. So what I'm going to be doing with this is just putting it all on right before I get in the shower because I hate getting masks off like in the sink. So I'll just put this on, let it set, and then I'll wash this off in the shower so it's easier to take off. But I used to try all the little packet samples of random clay masks and I always liked the effect they had. I figured I would just buy a whole tube since this is only $4 and the samples are like $2. So obviously you get a lot more for your money if you just get a whole one. And then I also got one of the packet ones even though I was just saying how I thought they were kind of pointless. Um, I got the facial enzyme mask in pineapple and this one just restores radiant skin. And I would have bought the full bottle, but they don't have the full bottle where I went. They only have this sample. I know Ulta has the full bottle of this yellow one, but I wasn't at Ulta. So I just got this one to try it, and then if I really like it, I'll just go get the one at Ulta. And then the other skincare thing I got is kind of lame, but it's just some of these little, like, cotton pads. I get the big square ones because they just give you, like, more surface area to work with. And I feel like you, like, waste less um, of the, like, toner or whatever that you're using because you're not constantly refilling the little circle ones. So I just got some of these at CVS. And then for hair stuff, I got a new shampoo and conditioner, and I can never, like, stick to one brand, so they're, like, mismatched, but the shampoo I got is the new Herbal Essence, um, like, line, and it's not really new. It's, like, they're going back to what they used to be, basically, so it's kind of like a re-release of the old formula. And this one is the Shine Collection, and it has 0% silicone, and it's just a lot more natural than the, like, newer ones that they have. It's just really fresh, and it just smells how a shampoo is supposed to smell, I feel like. Then, the conditioner I chose to go with it is from Tresemme, and it is one of the new ones, apparently. And it is Flawless Curls with Vitamin B1 Curl Hydration for curly or wavy hair. And I thought this would be good because as I have wavy hair, um, a lot of conditioners weigh my hair down, and then it won't wave anymore. And right now it's kind of all falling out because my hair is a hot mess, as you can tell why I keep touching it. But I feel like it's not moisturizing enough, I guess. But obviously it's not going to be because if it was, it would weigh my hair down. So, I don't know. For a daily conditioner, I really, really like it. It feels super silky when I get out of the shower and stuff. Um, I just feel like it's not a crazy moisturizing formula, but it's definitely good for my waves. And the only thing is, I really need to go to Ulta and get a pump for this, because this drives me crazy. I'm always, like, dropping it, trying to do this in the shower. And my CVS was out of the pump, so I really need to go and grab one and use it for this, because it drives me crazy trying to, like, squeeze this, and it's just horrible. And then, since I said that my hair's been feeling kind of dry lately, 
I got this Pantene Pro-V Overnight Miracle, and this is um, a new product, and it says it erases six months of damage. Obviously, it's not going to do that, but it could make it look better. And I was between buying this one or the new BB cream for your hair that Pantene put out, but I felt like that was kind of gimmicky, and it irritated me, so I went with the Overnight Miracle. Plus, this is kind of what I was more looking for. I want something that I can put in my hair when it's kind of damp before bed and then wake up and have really nice hair because I've been using... This is embarrassing, but I'll put straight up lotion from like here down in my hair and it'll absorb while I sleep and it makes it so soft in the morning. I'll put it in like a braid usually. And I was like, you know, that's kind of ratchet, so I should probably get a legitimate leave-in conditioner. And so I decided to get this one. I found this one while I was at Walmart and it was only about like $6 and I hadn't seen it at Walgreens or CVS. So I was like, you know, I'll just pick this up. It's whatever. And it smells really good. I love how all the Pantene stuff smells. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I read the ingredients and stuff, and I don't think it has keratin in it, so it won't make my hair brittle if I overuse it, which is good, because I tend to put way too much product in my hair when I'm trying to, like, moisturize it. So, yeah. And then I also needed new hair ties, because mine were getting old and stretched out, and I only had a couple left that I could even find. And I was going to get the regular ones, but then I saw these, and these are from the Scoonsy brand. I don't know how to say this. But they're new, and they're called the Evolution, and basically, it's like rubber. I'm not going to be able to show you this on camera, but it's like rubber instead of, like, the rubber band coated in thread. And they're kind of, like, really smooth, and they aren't supposed to stick in your hair or anything. And I have been loving these. One of my friends got them, too, and she tried them, and she didn't like them as much because she said they got stuck in her hair. But they haven't got stuck in my hair at all, and I really think they hold a lot better because the rubber kind of like sticks to your hair better than the thread does and they don't stretch out after you use them they kind of hold their shape a little bit better and these are only like three dollars and you only get 14 so I guess they're kind of expensive but I don't know I think they're worth it I'm not going to take them off this little box because when I take them off this thing that is when I lose them so I'm going to try to like keep track of the ones that I've taken off and not go through these super fast because I do really like them and they make like little ones too so I'm going to get those for when I do like my braids. I also got another kind of hair accessory and one of these little donut things. And I got this on eBay for literally only 99 cents. And I got the one in medium size. They have usually, you can get like black ones, brown ones, or blonde ones. And then they always have large, medium, and small. So um, the cheapest one that I could find was black. I didn't feel like it was necessary to get a brown one since I have such long hair. It's obviously going to get covered. So I got this one in size medium because I didn't really want small, but I definitely didn't want large because I don't want something like ginormous on my head. So I got this and I used it a couple times. I got one of these little brush guys and um, I wanted the tangle teaser or whatever it's called, but I have the smallest Sally's Beauty Supply by my house. It's literally like the size of a walk-in closet. And so all they had was like their brand of it and it's called the Tangle Tamer. Basically it's the exact same thing. Just has like the short little bristles and I used this yesterday and it works so good. I didn't really think it was going to work but I wanted it because everybody has it and my brush is really old and I need to throw it away. So I was like well I'll just get this one and it really works like really good. It doesn't get a good grip on my hair really but it takes so it takes a little bit longer but um, it definitely doesn't hurt as bad. And I feel like it's not breaking my hair the way that my regular brush does. So I'm really excited that I decided to get this. It was only a few dollars. Okay, guys, well, that is everything that I picked up recently. I know it's kind of a lot of stuff, but it's literally been over this whole month. And I just wanted to get this video up so that I could start putting these things in videos more and not feeling repetitive and stuff. So I'm really excited that I can now put these things all away where they go and not have them sticking out in a big bag next to my makeup area so that I don't forget anything. But yeah, I think I'm going to film a like kind of pampering night video soon, so I'm excited to break out those masks and stuff. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products or anything, please just go ahead and let me know. And definitely subscribe if you haven't already, and like this video if you liked it. And I love you guys, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.